I'm holding a drone today for the first time in my life. It's a very light thing and I always wanted to hold it. So Almighty has fulfilled my wish today. Everybody, my name is Mukesh Jaga from Venue.Events. Today is a very exciting day because we are at India Soft 2024. Our guest, Mr. Mr. Gopal from CDAC, and this is a government organization which takes care of making of the drones, which is used for educational and agriculture purposes. And then they transfer the technology to the people who want to really use it. So I would like to ask Mr. Gopal that if you can explain us the benefits of the drone and how the transfer of the technology happens after making it. Mr. Gopal. Yeah. Uh, thank you, sir. Thank you, Jaga, sir. And uh, sir, I am the marketing manager for the CDAC Bangalore. And we are there into various technologies. One is on the IoT part, the Internet of the Things, which comes, I mean, under that platform, under that technology, we do, I mean, a lot of uh, the hardware designing and all, and as best, the, the, the same hardware is being used in our IoT, uh, that is called the indigenous IoT board. This, the board is being there, this is the indigenous develop, uh, development board that is being developed by the CDAC Bangalore, and the same board is being used in the CDAC, the drone, and as well as the, the, uh, the smart energy meter, where, it, uh, where the transfer of technology is being done to, to, the, to the MSMEs, to the startups, where they can use these bow, I mean these, uh, I mean drones and as well as the smart energy bow, uh, smart energy meter, to sell to the uh, to the various discoms, especially the smart energy meter, and for the to the educational institutes and as well as to the MSMEs. I just want to tell you that CDAC not only on the IoT front, we are there into the on the HPC side, where the 20 petaflop uh, 20 petaflop uh, uh, machine is going to come in CDAC Bangalore in the Electronic City campus. Apart from that, we are there into the uh, cyber security, cyber security domain, quantum, and we are into the skilling. Uh, now, I would like, uh, I, I would request uh, Sambit to tell more about the drones. I am Sambit Das, currently working as Knowledge Associate in CDAC Bangalore. So today we have this drone. So we are into a drone development platform. So our purpose is to make the drone totally indigenously, not depending the depending upon the technology from the other companies. So the main component of this drone is a flight control unit. So usually we make it using a microcontroller board. So this is our product. This is CDAX Indus ID board. It comes up with lots of sensors and a Wi-Fi chip also. So you can code, uh, you can upload the code uh, as per your algorithm and other things. Uh, so we have developed this drone by using this microcontroller board. So the code which is running in this board is controlling these drones. And apart from this, we are providing the camera modules. So also you can connect one OTG receiver to see the live feeds, live video uh, visuals in your smartphone. Along with that, uh, the batteries you are using of lithium polymer. The range is up to, uh, it can last up to 15 minutes and the transmitter, using this transmitter, the range is up to 15, uh, 500 meters. And, wow. and apart from that, we are working on like a, a drone simulator and drone uh, like a, um, another uh, software also. So that, and currently it is in development purpose and furthermore we will be improving a lot. Now, how much time does it take to uh, develop the uh, product? Uh, actually, it's uh, the design has been done by our companies. Like it is, it is a research per per work, so it can take many months. So okay. that's it, that is the thing. Okay. And like uh, the drone can be used for surveillance purpose, and as a payload, additional payload you can use up to one up one kg. So for the crop monitoring, uh, soil monitoring, you can use this drone. And uh, apart from that, uh, like in many other applications, like EIM enable thing, you can use this drone. Another thing important I forgot to mention, its weight is less than 2 kg. Right. So the weight is 900 grams. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. so it is falls under micro category, so no license is required for that. Okay, no license is required no, no. for this. Because the weight, when the weight is less than 2 kg, the no license is required. So, so only is, in the areas which are uh, strategically there you cannot use it, but in the fields yeah, etc. Yeah, yeah. you can use like, it. There are many zones like red zone, green zone. Yeah. So in that zone you can use any drone. Except of the weight. But the, I am talking about the license. 
and how much does it cost the drone part though mm -hmm. you transfer the technology and it is based on the number of uh, drones that are sell but still any rough idea to ms msme how much it will yeah, cost to about the price for this drone ranges uh, from 15000 rupees to 20000 rupees to for any startups and as well as to the msmes and uh, if something goes wrong with the drone is it repairable yes it is repairable yes and then obviously do we, we can do the forensics on this because yes we can do that actually and who are your buyers is it the local indian market or the uh, international market also? it is uh, majorly the indian market because because we are from the government of india we okay. are uh, we are we want to support what uh, the make local. in india make in india uh, this one so that which has been pushed from the prime minister and the government of india uh, thank you mr gopal thank you mr sambit yeah. for giving us more insights on the drones thank you very much thank you sir thank you.